Zayoja risks of idol worship or having their leader's body used for rituals. This is the quandary that they have. I posted this on my social media that Mugabe refused to be buried at the National Heroes Acre. I, there has been speculations that they used to use the bodies of the deceased at the National Heroes Acre for ritual purposes. And there is also another angle which said that there is a stick or a chimbo or a scepter that Mugabe refused to pass on. However, the fact that Mugabe refused to be buried at the National Heroes Acre leaves people with a lot of questions more than answers. What this means is that Ezekiel Gute has been declared a national hero. Whether he's going to be buried at the National Heroes Acre or he's going to be buried at a public place which is accessible to the children of Zayoja, it leaves them with another problem. The second problem is that there is a risk of people getting into idol worship or worshipping the dead because once the grave or the gravesite is accessible to everyone, what somebody is going to come and do at that place? Some people might say, I feel spiritual when I'm there. What happened to T.B. Joshua? They put his grave inside the church and it is accessible to everyone. How that will affect what the believers do? Remember, the people that are congregants, they can influence you to do things that you have, you, you have not planned. One example is in the book of Exodus. We see Aaron being influenced to make a golden calf whilst Moses is away. And I have seen this in many places where believers, they can force people to do things without and then causing people to do idol worship. I just got now two problems. The one, if they take their body, the body to the National Heroes Acre, what they are going to do with it is nobody knows. And the second problem is if they put it in a public place, what are the believers going to do when they encounter the grave of the late? Some people are too fanatical and they can end up doing things that kindle the anger of God. But what do you make of the situation that Zayoja finds itself in of Hero's Acre or a public place where believers can access and might end up worshipping? late. I would love to hear your thoughts.